So Sohan uh, and I were very close from the time we were 14. So I was Prem's best friend. And by virtue that I was Prem's best friend, that's how I got connected to Sohan. At one point in time, I think we sat, I sat next to him or behind him in class. And just a lovely person, just like his family. It did still have a small town feel. I don't think it has that small town feel now because it's actually grown geographically um, in population and also in the size of the, of the town or the city or whatever. Uh, and the extended areas around Klang is very large. It uh, reaches out to Kota Kumaneng, reaches out to Bukit Raja, Bukit Jalutong, right? And you know that, that picture that you sent us of us rollerblading, there, there's a roundabout, right? So that is sort of like the epicenter of Klang, you know? Like yeah. once you pass that is when you're going into the town area. And once you come back on this side, like I said, going south, you're going towards all the housing areas and stuff. When we were there, we still had that small town feel. Uh, cycling, you know, nobody cycles nowadays. Right, but we could cycle to one another's house. Uh, did a lot of games in the evenings. I don't think you can say small town like uh, Setiawan or like you know Kluang or something like that. You know what I mean? It's not Klang's not small, small even back yeah. then. But uh, it was nice. It was really nice growing up. In the sense that that um, we did a lot of things together as friends and as schoolmates and. Yes, yes well, yes, pretty mixed. Definitely. Yeah, pretty yeah. pretty mixed. It, 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 it's not like the government schools now today, especially even Lasal in Klang. It's like you know, it's not racially diverse at all. Lasal Klang now is like an Indian school, bro. We were very multicultural at that point no, in time. where we where we were, I mean, we were kind of close to the school, and spreading out from the school is very very multiracial. To be honest. Where we lived, I mean, in close proximity, it was a very Chinese area. Very, very Chinese. Southern Park was very Chinese. Uh, Chilion was very Chinese. And then when you spread out, that's when it gets, that's when it gets quite multicultural and mixed. Yeah, so I think pretty much what, uh, what uh, Tom's dad captured really is, is us doing the things that we did at that point of time, we were like, we would have been 14 or 15 now, about there exactly. Um, and yeah, those are the things that we used to do together. Like I said, it was a fun place where we could do those things, you know? I mean, cause we didn't have the distractions that people do these days, or rather that kids do these days. So you had to find things to do. Correct. We'd play games, we'd play tennis, we'd, we'd go rollerblading. Oh, we'd play board games. games. We'd do yeah, our school projects games, together. Yeah. He will, he will take pictures of backgrounds, then he will take uh, photographs of us just at home in the house. And then he just use that to just paint us in. So basically, yeah, he'd make us post individually and then we'd post together like as a group like that as well. Okay. Like, literally like in the porch of the house, you know. He has a very real sense, you know, when it comes to exactly. what, what, you know, yeah. what he paints. And also the way he paints people, he distorts them. I mean, you'll see that that's not how we really look. He he paints his own version of the person he has photographed, even though he's painting from a photograph. So he has he has his own different style. Uh, I mean, I I I, I of course I saw many 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 of his paintings because they'd be they'd be hung about the house. And then like my favorite painting of his was of a, a bamboo swing. I don't know who has that painting now. Yeah, and also he used to paint boats a lot. I'm um, in Kerry Island, I think. Yeah. Uh, and those were those are quite nice. I like those particular series. And of course, the, the ones that he did of us were quite fun. Like, because, you know, it was things he saw around him, right? And that's what we were. We'd be around him. We'd be around the house, you know. We'd be just Making noise. Yeah. 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 And then you'd also see, like, the younger sister in there as well. She's a lot yeah. smaller than we are. I thought he was brilliant. I, I remember used to always going and peeking at him doing his work. Of course, I asked him, like, why is he an artist and stuff? <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, he was just talking about how, how he likes being able to express himself that way. And uh, about how he likes to paint the things that he sees and the things that, that affect him and affect the people around him. 
you know so that's why that's what i mean by when i say his paintings are very real they're not an escape you know they're very real and they're very grave if that makes sense mm -hmm. so so that, that that was that was that was his his uh, style yeah his style and his stance sort of thing you know we'd do sleepovers and then i'd uh, sit and chat with his mom and dad so yeah. then uh, it'd be nice to have conversations with him because he'd be a lot more relaxed than he would be during the earlier part of the day and we'd have like the most interesting conversations with, with uh, yeah and uh, it was nice like we could just sit and chat with him as if we were adults as well it was very different from from uh, the rest of our parents yeah the rest of our parents